In this video, we'll be going over zigzag conversion. So the string is written in a zigzag pattern on a given number of rows. So in this case, we're, we're, we're given three rows and then we're, we are trying to write this string into a zigzag pattern. So we have P A Y and a P A and an L I S H I R I N G, which is the input string. And then we're trying to concatenate them together by rows. And then we have P A H N, which is the first row. And then we have A P L S I I G, which is the next row. And then the last row, Y I R, the last three characters. So let's go over the process. We will need a way to store the characters associated with each row. We can create an array of string builders to keep track of the characters, to keep track of the characters in each row. Then the indices of the array will determine the row we are currently on. We will need a way to indicate our current location or our current row inside, inside the, the input string or our current row and also the current direction we are at when our current row when our current row is equal to the first row or the last row we will need to change directions we can indicate our direction as follows so if our direction is equal to one that means we're moving downward and if our direction is negative one that means we're moving upward So for example, we have row plus direction, that means we're moving downward. Or we have row minus direction, that means we're moving upward. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So let's validate the input parameter. If num rows is equal to one, then we do not need to perform our zigzag pattern. We're gonna return the string itself, and then we're gonna create an array of string builders So we're going to call our SBS, string builders. So the indices represents row. The values represents the characters at the row. Then we're going to create two variables. We're going to create R is our current row, initially zero, and also the direction current direction initially zero initially we have just have a starting point and then we'll we change our direction inside a loop then we're going to iterate do the character uh, do the indices of s denoted as i and retrieve the current character character c at index i we're going to increment row by direction that means moving towards the direction we can see that initially we do not move down. So we, initially we do not move down. So we're gonna stay, we're gonna stay at the first character for now. Then we're gonna up, um, append C to the string builder at the current row. Now, we, now, now we're gonna start changing directions. If row is equal to zero, that means we need to change directions or row is at the last row. We also need to change direction, so it's equal to num rows minus one. Minus one. If row is equal to zero, no, not row. If direction is equal to zero, that means we need to move downward. We need our directions to start moving downward. So we're going to set direction to one. Else, we're going to set direction to negative direction. Basically, we have, we're currently moving downward. So we are currently at one. If we're moving down, we want to switch our direction to moving upward. So we switch it to negative one. Or if we're currently moving upward, we want to move downward again. So we want to change it to positive one. Now we are going to convert the rate of string builders 
to a single string. To a single string. I'm going to create a string builder results. I'm going to iterate through the array of string builders and append the string representation of the string builder to results. And then we're going to return a, the string representation of result. Now let's go over to time and space complexity. So the time complexity is equal to let's go to old n plus old n. So go to old n, where n is the length of the input string. Actually, we can do of k and k is the number of rows. Our first O of n is visit each character once to allow them to put into the, each row of string builders. And then O of k is converting array of string builders to results, to the resulting string. Now space complexity is equal to of n plus of n. Where n is the length of input string. And of n is the array of string builders. Because the characters inside the string builders matters. And then we have of n is the resulting string. Result string. Now let's go over the code. We're going to first validate our input parameter. Let's go to one, then we return the string itself. If there's only one row, we don't need to convert it. Then we're going to create an array of string builders. The same number of the number of rows. And then we're going to keep track of current row and our current direction. And then we iterate through the indices of the input string. Actually, one more thing we need to do is we need to iterate through our array to initialize each, each of them. So index i. Because we're going to get no pointer exception, we do not initialize our string builders before we iterate through them. Now we're going to iterate through the characters of the input string, retrieve the current character index i, and then move our row toward the direction that we're currently in, and then we're going to append the current character to the string builder at the current row. And then if row is equal to zero, or row is at the last row, we need to change our direction. So if our direction is equal to zero, then we want to change it to one. We want to start moving downward. Else we just want to change the direction to negative direction. Then we're going to return and we're going to convert our string builders to the resulting string. Iterate through the in, uh, the string builders of the at the individual rows, append the string builder to the results, then we're going to return the resulting string. Let me know if you need questions in the comment section below.